What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and today we have some incredibly important business to attend to. Now as most of you guys are probably aware, I went against Wolfie, the VGC champion, the multiple time WBE champion, once even over myself in the WBE last weekend. And it was a disaster. It was something that's been tough to get past. People have been saying mean things to me. Mr. Fish is in my face all the time, rubbing it in, letting me know I got six OD, got six kills. I don't know how I'm gonna get past it, but one way I've come up with to try to move past this traumatic experience is coming up with a team of my own to try to sweep some fools. I was made a fool, let's make some other people some fools, with a team where we set up with the first Mon, the second Mon, the third Mon, until we get that sweet win. But before I get into that team, we do have a sponsor on today's video. Sponsors help out the channel immensely. It really allows me to keep doing this, so please give it a chance and let's get right on into it. And the sponsor of today's video is once again, Raid Shadow Legends. And the reason I've decided to team up with Raid one more time is because I just genuinely enjoy this game. It goes along with other games that I've really enjoyed playing on my phone, and the fact that this is both a free game and a game I can play both mobile and on my desktop, it's super convenient and I really enjoy it. On top of that, Raid just has a lot of elements I truly love in a game. The graphics are phenomenal, you already know I love collecting things, and I really love the fantasy genre. Seeing dark elves, orcs, and all these other cool characters you can get is amazing, but even better, I can go online, create a team, and absolutely dominate. It's kind of like Pokemon, you know, turn by turn, you have different speeds when they go first, you really have to learn how all the characters work, what they do, what they're best at, and try to come up with the best team. Obviously, I'm not the best at this game, you know, I'm putting a lot of time into Pokemon, I'm still learning how this works but i'm having a lot of fun with it and it's something hopefully i can improve on so what are you waiting for go to the video description click on the special links and if you're a new player you will get 100,000 silver plus one free champion in slasher this will only be available for the next 30 days so jump on it while you can and to claim your treasure in game make sure to click on your inbox Huge thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. It does so much to help out this channel and allow me to keep making these videos. But that's enough of that. Let's get right on into the team. As with most 3v3 teams, there isn't one dedicated lead here. You can mix and match, but I do like leading off with the Pultigeist a lot of the time because it does have the Focus Sash, which almost always guarantees that you're able to get a Shell Smash off and hopefully begin the sweeping immediately. Now, this Pultigeist is actually a Cursed Body one because I bred and got a Shiny Cursed Body one. I was considering going with Weak Armor. It really just depends on your preference. They're both just going to happen every once in a while. Both have their benefits. It's not a huge deal at the end of the day as long as you have shell smash you should be good to go uh the evs are very straightforward max speed max special attack tim and nature to really make sure we can outspeed as many things as possible and after that shadow ball giga drain just for coverage and to get some health back and stored power to take advantage of all of those incredible boosts the next Pokemon on this team is going to be Ice Q, and this is the other Pokemon I occasionally lead with if I'm really confident the opponent is going to lead off with a physically offensive Pokemon. And the reason that's important is the Ice Face ability says if this Pokemon is Ice Q, the first physical hit it takes will deal zero damage and its ice head is then broken, switching it to the no ice form or the noise form, and the ice will be restored when hail is summoned or when the Pokemon is switched in while hail is active. A lot of things going on there, but basically what it means is if they go for a physical move and hit you, it will deal zero damage. You can belly drum up, get up to plus six attack, you will switch into your uh, no ice form, which will actually be a form that gives you 130 speed. So now you have plus six attack. You're unbelievably fast. You have max speed, max attack EVs, a jolly nature. So you're as fast as possible. And then you have really, really solid coverage with ice cool crash liquidation, Zen headbutt and citrus berry will bring you back to 75 HP. Along with that, if you do Dynamax and you go for the ice type move, you will get hail back up and then you will have a chance to actually get that ice face ability back you will be able to take another physical hit for zero damage and just absolutely demolish teams. The final member of this team is a Pokemon near and dear to my heart with Phalanx. You already have seen my shiny one in different battles before different videos. I love this thing to death. It's so much fun to use and you know we're going to be using that no retreat move, an omni boosting move, and this is usually going to be the Pokemon in the back that I saved the Dynamax up with. I just love getting wins with this Mon. It's really reliable. It actually has some pretty decent bulk, really solid attack, and if you can get that no retreat off, a lot of the times late game it is over for your opponent. 
the ability to find can really help you out whenever they do lower any of your stats you're going to get plus two into attack life orb obviously is going to make you even stronger and the combination of close combat rock slide and throat chop is just really solid coverage in general now before we hop into rank singles and see what this team can truly do we need to exercise some demons and it starts with this obstagoon i predicted it correctly i thought this was going to be the lead i knew that the ice key would be the perfect pokemon to go against it i get the belly drum off and at this point i decide i just need to go for the liquidation i'm sure it's going to be able to kill this thing i don't want to miss an ice skull crash I mean they got the poison anyways so worst case scenario they're gonna die they're going to be able to get rid of the ice face i'll be able to outspeed them next turn everything should be fine we do actually not kill somehow which i wasn't expecting but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because we should be able to outspeed as we do and things are looking incredible but you know what the next mon we'll see is something that has brought me a lot of pain a lot of misery it's tried to ruin battling for me but you know what mr fish no more no longer will you hold me back and try to ruin gen 8 for me i have a little penguin friend he's got my back he wouldn't let you do anything bad to me you're out of here and it's time for the g max toxtricity it's in all the raids it's all the rage with the kids these days i get it i've seen it many a times but really can anything take an icicle crash from this little penguin guy i clearly should have gone for it in the first turn you're out of here that's done and now it's time to get on the ranked ladder and really see what we can do okay guys now it's finally time for the moment you've been waiting for we're moving into the ranked battles and i'm putting my record on the line now it's not the greatest record in the world i haven't been killing it in singles 3v3 but we're bringing in the three heavy hitters we're gonna see what we can truly do live battle uh, one and done i'm assuming this is gonna go whoever we play very good i i guess i haven't played in a few days not the greatest but once we really shock the world with this team we'll be skyrocketing up the ladder board i already know it i called it a ladder board it's a leaderboard i'm already searching i can't cut this out it's i'm human what are you gonna do about it either way uh, let's see what this person is going to have and how they could possibly stop uh the three mons we have 78,000. all right they're giving us a little bit of a soft ball i see i am a little bit worried about the team very very standard which you'd expect with ranked but very bulky very frustrating and i don't really know our best way to take on the ferrothorn like i need to make sure i have something in the back for that obviously we do have the phalanx can, that can do a lot of damage i mean poltergeist is going to be special i i school crash if we get set up we should do a lot but i could definitely see either the rotom lead or the dragapult lead for and for that reason i think we have to lead with the poltergeist poltergeist have that uh this in the back and then phalanx of course are dynamax monster ready to clean things up especially if we need it against the ferrothorn we don't want to have that versus the tox specs though that could be an issue we'll just see we'll see what they lead with we'll see how this goes if they lead off with a hip out on and they ruin my life because focus sash with the sand is gone that's not going to be great but i already know this is easy we're going to get the win everyone's going to be stoked on me and we will finally get our revenge no longer do we have to think about getting swept ourselves we can sweep people with our own setup pokemon it'll be great this could have been better but it could have been worse obviously toad kiss is special so having ice cube try to set up against this probably wouldn't have been ideal the interesting thing here hmm yeah we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see what it does it could try to status us and slow us down we do have a really good specially defensive stat so i'm not super worried i okay that's nice but they could have still gotten the flinch they did not get the flinch we get rid of the uh the air slash we're definitely going to be able to outspeed we're definitely going to get a big head off now i'm not entirely sure if we are going to be able to kill this thing but we're definitely going to scare and maybe we'll have them switch you know maybe they feel like they need to keep the toad kiss in the back maybe they're a little bit frightened they're not thinking correctly they're not really thinking clearly they're going to make a big switch anything that switches in and is about to get decimated by a shadow ball bring it in this thing we have the stored power oh my god this is exactly what happened in my battle yeah you don't know what you're thinking all of a sudden you're making bad plays and you're sacrificing a tox effects for no reason this is 
everything I've ever wanted to see. There's no reason not to go for stored power here. It's going to kill this thing. Anything that comes in is not going to be happy about this. Baneful Bunker, not really too worried about it. And now we can go for a Shadow Ball. Maybe they'll want to switch in, I don't know, like Ferrothorn, thinking they can take it a little bit easier. I, I don't know. I We definitely can kill a Shadow Ball. Maybe we can get them to switch a little bit more because this thing does have Regenerator. Go for that Shadow Ball, decimate whatever comes in. And this is going way better than I expected. This is incredible. All right, Toxapex is down. Definitely the more difficult thing for the other two Pokemon to take on, which is incredible, especially with the damage we did. Probably max defensive. Now, I don't really know what they could bring in that's going to be able to deal with our setup Pulte guys. So that is going to be interesting brings this in so this is choice scarf i would imagine the way they switched that out that's why they switched it out curse body actually worked perfectly oh my god i didn't even think about that all right so that's why they switched it out which is incredible to think about very bad now that i'm realizing oh crap oh crap oh crap the other two pokemon i have are not really stoked to see this so we have to really make a good decision here They've lost Tox Effects. This thing might as well be dead. But we are in a tough spot. Um, I feel like we have to go into this guy. I don't really feel comfortable. I don't know if I can belly drum here, which is a little bit worrying. But they can't flinch me if I do Dynamax up. I'll definitely be able to kill 100%. And I can just go for Max Geyser. Max Geyser? No, actually, I'm not going to miss, so I can go for Hailstorm. Yeah, and then we can get the hail up, and then we get our head back, and then when our head is back, then we can't lose. It's it's an automatic one. We got this. Okay, they can't flinch us. Uh, yeah, no, we are absolutely good. We just have the Dynamax here. That's going to be the right thing to do, and we should be fine. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I mean, from the final Pokemon they could have, I think Phalanx should be able to 1v1 most of them. I think it could get a little dicey with Hippowdon. They bring in Hippowdon on, you know, the freaking Dynamax Ice Q. I'm also feeling good about that. So I think we might have this in the bag. I think this might have gone as perfectly as possible. That's not going to be able to flinch. Still a decent amount of damage, but we can't miss. You're going down for sure. We get the hail up, which is nice. So if their final Pokemon is a physical Pokemon, I can't imagine there's really, like, an actual possibility we lose this. And we still have the Citrus Berry, so it all comes down to this. This will be pretty interesting. I thought we were going to come in. I'm using the 3v3 team. We're going into rank. I'm just absolutely, my win-loss ratio after this video would be in the gutter. But it looks like a one and done. That's all you need to see. Buh. Bye. We're going to get the hail back as well as we're able to go for this move. I imagine they're going to Dynamax up. There's no reason for them not to but they're not going to be able to take me out. There's no way they take me out here. They can't because I have the ability. I keep forgetting that. How is this going so well? This is amazing. All right. They're going to Dynamax up. You're not going to be able to take me out, and I'm going to be able to get the hail up. I mean, they could go for a rock. Well, actually, they'll probably go for a rock move, so I'll get the hail up, and then they'll be able to get rid of the hail, but then I'll be able to set the hail up again the next turn. It'll be interesting. We'll see how this goes exactly. So this should do... A ridiculous amount of damage. All of the damages to the hip out on. Maybe not all of the damage. I, I might have lied. That was not what I expected to see. I was hopeful for something a little bit better, but all right. We still got some decent damage off. Max Steel Spike. So they're not going to get rid of um, the hail, which is really fantastic. They are going to increase their defense, which is not perfect. That's not what you love to see, but we get the ice phase. We're going to get it back as well, which is really, really big. And we might be able to get the belly drum off still. Okay. Life orb. Okay. They might be life orb, which is not what I expected with a hip out on. So we just go for this again. I think you know, we definitely do this to get the damage off. Do we, do we max guard? No. Okay. We do this. We're going to get the damage off. I don't think they're going to set up the sand. We can get our face back and everything should be good. I feel like just getting damage, especially when it's at the point where it can't heal up, I think that's the most important thing because it could get really dicey. Yeah, okay, so they are going to get sand up so I don't get the face back, but it's going to get really dicey for me if they are able to heal up after all of this. So we just got to bring in the phalanx. We go from the no retreat. We can live one hit no matter what. And then once they undynamax, we take them out and it should be good. So my whole point there, obviously I could have, you know, tried to keep the same or the, the ice up. So we keep the face and everything's good, but I just don't want to let them get to a point where this hip down can heal up with slack off. That would be 
worst case scenario. There's no way that thing, it's not gonna be able to outspeed and it won't be able to Oko our Phalanx. There's just no way. It's just not gonna happen. Phalanx has never disappointed me in my life. No retreat is the coolest move that's ever existed. I mean, I mean, come on, uh, this is a guaranteed win. This is automatic. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. I know we have it. There's no way around it. We can't escape because the, the victory is in our sight. There's no reason to leave. We know exactly what's happening here. Uh, that was never gonna kill. I'm never worried. Uh, not a worry in my world. No siree. They lose the, the life orb. They're gonna get undynamaxed and then buh bye we got the close combat coming its way we're at plus one we got the life orb i know they have the defense boost but there's no way they can live and that's gonna be that i right, this is the moment of truth i'm a little bit worried they are life orbs so hopefully they are offensive and not max defensive even if they were there's no way come on a close combat from the phalanx and we get the win in singles ranked you saw the beginning to the end this is obviously the old ranked i put it on the line and wow, we actually got the win. I, did, <laughs> I didn't expect that, I'll be very honest. Wow, that was incredible. What a thrill, what a time. I, I am actually kind of interested to see how far that shot me up the rankings. I hadn't played in a little bit, I guess. I didn't realize it'd been so long that I just dropped in half. So let's, uh, we got a ribbon. Ooh, okay, now we'll we'll stop. I Let's, let's go. Uh, Let's see the uh, the spoils we got from this victory. I I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's see what's going on here before we end this off. Let's see. Come on. Uh, come on. Yeah, you can communicate. Let me know. <laughs> Either way, a win's a win. We redeemed ourselves. The setup team. Is there really a better collection of three Pokemon in this generation? But that's going to be the end of this video, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. But that's enough talking. I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace.